Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I have a highly overdue massive unboxing video for you guys of all of the stuff I've gotten in recently as PR. I just got back from Playlist Live, my voice is kind of raspy, I'm feeling pretty tired and pretty run down. So I thought what better way to pick myself up on this really dark and dreary, is it Wednesday? Wednesday afternoon than by drinking some coffee. And playing with some makeup and you guys know that I love doing these hauls so if you like watching them don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I want you to be part of the family and we've been growing so fast lately we just hit 1.15 million subscribers and I can't believe we're so close already to 1.2 so join in and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started so this is kind of stuff that beauty gurus get um, I know I've been seeing that a lot like free products beauty gurus get and like that sort of thing lately and usually with this kind of stuff I mean this is just what I have decided to keep and haul if I showed you guys absolutely everything that I've gotten in the last month or so I promise you it would be like three times longer than this a lot of the times I will be sent every shade of something or every kind of variation of a product just because the brand doesn't really have time to cherry pick through what they think like a certain beauty guru or beauty person would want so a lot of the times I wind up giving that away to friends or family or if I don't really you know have anyone that I think it might fit I have donated to battered women's shelters before and I do things like that all the time so I just want you guys to know like while this is a lot and I just very recently did a thousand dollars Sephora haul um, trust me it's about a third of what it what it probably was in the mail. This first thing came in today and I feel so spoiled rotten. It's every single one of the Naked palettes. Oh, I wanted to mention really quickly, by the way, the reason I'm down here today is because the air in my upstairs area is totally fried. I'm back in Texas for the time being um, and the upstairs air is totally done. And then today the downstairs air went out. So I had somebody come and look at it, but I have a fan on me and everything. That's why I'm downstairs is because it's a little bit cooler and I would just be, Sweating buckets upstairs. This is kind of in my living room area, just so you know. So, again, I got this Urban Decay Naked box, and it has every single Naked palette, and I'm not sure how I want to distribute these. I am going to keep the original Naked because mine is very well loved. Um, I have I have seriously torn it to shreds. The mirror is broken. I have hit pan on, I think, five of the colors, and the rest are about to hit pan. So I've kind of wanted a replacement for a while. I've had it for roughly five years, so I feel like this is a good excuse. Um, but you can see just all of the colors in the OG Naked. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. But then the other two, um, Naked 2, I haven't used that much, so mine is not like super well loved. I certainly don't need another one, but I'll show you the colors anyways. I'll probably pass this on to one of my friends who really likes those cool tones because they're just not for me. Then I have the Naked 3, which I love, but again, I haven't used very much and it's all like rosy gold tones. And that was so generous. Thank you so much to Urban Decay. They are always crazy. You guys are going to see other PR packages in this haul. They are nuts with their PR. They're so generous. Apparently, this was all to promote their new Go Naked perfume. The sensuous, super concentrated perfume oil conjures up the scent of sun warmed skin anytime, anywhere. Lavender, citrus, neroli, and sea salt. So, oh, I sprayed I sprayed perfume not that long ago so I can't put it on but I'll smell it oh I just got it on my nose it smells like sunscreen it smells like the beach oh my god I love it wait no I love it so much I'm obsessed with it it smells so good if you're someone like me where like I love the smell of sunscreen I love the smell of the beach like that sort of sea salt and um sunscreeny smell you would be obsessed with this think Bobby Brown's beach perfume but even better and even sweeter and just so nice I love this so congratulations to Urban Decay for taking part in the perfume game that's dope I also got in this palette or this package from Urban Decay today as well I love the packaging of it so much just like a rosy gold and in here they just sent me a little note it just says hi Loie who doesn't love a newbie to get naked we're taking naked skin to the next level with a new collection of products we can't wait for you to try share your looks with hashtag UD gives good face thank you so much I'm really excited because in here you get well I'll just show you the whole package um it's a little bit torn up it looks like it went through some stuff and shipping but in here we have two palettes this brush it's just like a double-sided it has a little fan side and a little like I don't even know what you would call that um like good for setting and things like that I'm really not sure it's called the shapeshifter f113 we get the velvetizer translucent mix in medium hi kitty um and in here is like a powder 
Ooh la la. The Velvetizer is for an extra blowout finish. Mix a dime sized amount of this translucent mix in medium into naked skin liquid makeup or naked skin one and done to create an extra velvety feel of beautiful matte finish and added coverage. So I can't wait to try that. Apparently it also doubles as a finishing powder, but that's kind of what it's used for. Then I have the Liquid Aura, and this is an illuminating mix in medium. Make perfecting your complexion transcend trans transcendental. I've already tried to film this like three times. I can't say that word. Experience with this illuminating mix in medium. For all over brightening, mix one drop with naked skin liquid makeup or naked skin one and done, then apply as usual or apply as a highlight. So you can see it's kind of like that super dope, um, like, oh, oh girl, I just got way too much. It actually is a really cool highlight. It shifts very, very pinky and that's it quite wet, but I'll do a much thinner swatch over here. It's actually just super pretty. I feel like it would give the skin so much life. I don't know how it would work as a highlight just because when you actually like sheer it out and stuff um, it just it has a bit of a duochrome like holographic finish but it's nothing crazy. So that's the hand with it pretty much all over. You can see it's very glowy and pretty. That's the hand totally dry. I'm into it. Um, I guess I'll just try it like mixing into my foundation and see how I like it. This is the Naked Skin Illuminator Translucent pressed beauty powder number one the package absolutely oh it has a release button um it's really really beautiful and it is an illuminizing beauty powder show up with a sophisticated glow every day like the name suggests this translucent pressed beauty powder instantly illuminates giving skin a radiant look that's dang pretty i'm really into it it's like a pretty kind of medium-y color the packaging clicked and i was like what the heck but apparently there's like a little sponge doodad down there i don't know if it comes in different colors um it just says translucent pressed beauty powder but it does have a bit of a color give off to it i don't know how it would work as a highlighter for me just because i love a strong highlight last but not least we have two of the naked skin shape shifter palettes this one is for darker skin Skin, so I will show you this one and then they have one for like light to medium skin tones the medium dark one I love the packaging number one but here it is on bottom it's like a bunch of pressed powders some contour colors a matte highlight and a shimmery highlight and then when you flip down the mirror you've got some cream shades so I think that's really cool like an all-inclusive sort of palette then this one um, I think that the colors would suit my pasty self much more much more better um, and then the cream colors are really good too so I can't wait to try that out these palettes retail for $39 which I think is a pretty good price considering all that you get in here for like a contour palette so those are are some of the new releases from Urban Decay and I'll kind of break it up but they have been doing so much lately you can see one of my next boxes is actually also Urban Decay but they have just so much going on and it's great I love them I've kept this box for so long even though I went ahead and used the product inside of it um, I love the Urban Decay better than sex mascara but like can we just take a minute for the fact that they sent a vanity literal light up mirror like I just wanted to show Too Faced always goes above and beyond. In here it says, hey gorgeous, I created a special vanity just for you so you could experience the transformative power of better than sex as you take over the world and be a star. I am so excited to share a new video with you starring world famous choreographer Yanis Marshall. I hope it inspires you to own your pretty, break the rules, and never give up. And then um, he just included like the link to the video and stuff. But how cool is that? I just thought this was so neat and like fun and such an extra thing and Too Faced always does the most. So I'm actually keeping it just because I can't believe the fact that they literally like built a light up vanity into their PR box. I just think it's so cool. I'm keeping it literally just because of that because I can't. This next product is from Marc Jacobs Beauty um, and I love Marc Jacobs very very much. They always have such cool new products and I actually already have if you watched my last haul this Omega Bronze um, Perfect or Coconut Perfect Tan in the shade Tantastic so I can kind of like give this one away. It's such a nice bronze color very good for when you're tan. I was a little bit darker than this when I tried to use the bronzer and it really should be a contour. I would say it was a true medium skin tone then but I'm going to kind of save that for someone else since I already have one. It's just at my apartment in LA and then we have some primers first we have the undercover perfecting coconut face primer I already do have one of these but I love this primer very much and I'm about halfway through so I'm excited to use another one when that one's done I don't like to open like primers or 
things like that until I'm totally through one just because it's something you use every single day and I don't like to have a ton of open ones. And then I have this, the Dew Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter. And again, this was something I bought on Sephora a while ago and I haven't used it yet, but I'm so excited to use it. Um, and I don't need another one, especially these kind of like highlighters with the um, pumps like this. Like they're going to go such a long way, so I can get this away too. And to go with the Omega Tan Bronzer, we get a giant bronzer brush. And this is such a nice size. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl, it's such a nice size. I love this um, as a bronzer brush, and I cannot wait to try it out. So thank you so much to Marc Jacobs. That was super duper generous. They also included just a little packet to look through and learn about the products and stuff. What next? I think we'll talk about this Urban Decay Rehab Makeup Prep and Meltdown Makeup Remover. So it says put it on perfectly, take it off totally. In here we have some of the new Urban Decay makeup removers and stuff like that. I guess it's called Rehab Makeup Prep and then Meltdown is the makeup remover stuff. So I'll kind of just give you a quick little show here. We have the Rehab Makeup Prep Pore Refining Peel. It is a peel-off mask that immediately reduces the appearance of pore sizes as it draws out impurities. So it leaves the pores looking cleaner and less large. Then we have the Meltdown Makeup Remover. And this is actually by Skinanavia. That's so cool. Urban Decay, I think, has a partnership with Skinanavia because all of their setting sprays are also by Skinanavia. So I want to see. It's a spray, of course, and you just spray it all over, and it kind of, like, works down the makeup, especially if you have a very, like, full face. It's a powerful yet gentle spray mist that works weightlessly and starts working on contact to instantly dissolve even the most stubborn waterproof makeup in one swipe. So that's really, really cool, and I can't wait to test that out totally. This is the Pretty Gritty Skin Polish and it says scrub away yesterday's sins. It's gentle enough for everyday use and yet crazy effective. So that's really great. Um, it has vitamin C, coconut oil, and rose hip seed powder. I love that Urban Decay is dipping their toes into the um, skincare game because they're good at every... I've never had an Urban Decay product that I wasn't like, yeah, yeah, totally, like give me 30. So I think it's great that they are doing this. Honestly, if you had to ask what my favorite makeup brands were, probably Urban Decay and Too Faced are my all times. Um, although Marc Jacobs, now that I'm saying that, is really like working their way up there. So those are are kind of like my all-time loves. These are two lip oils. This is the lip oil stick. This is the makeup remover though. This one is going to like break down your lip product and stuff like that. It's just a little lip oil. Um, oh, but it's in a stick. That's so cool. I'll have to test that out sometime. Um, but this is the actual lip love coconut oil shea butter moisturizing lip love. Um, so this one's like a little squeezy guy and I have to smell it. I love smelling lip products. It just comes out as like a little clear dude, but it just smells like coconut, which is fine with me. Here is the Meltdown Makeup Remover Cleansing Oil Stick, and this bad boy says it's going to take it off without having a meltdown. Um, so it's a three-phase oil-based remover that goes from a balm to a liquid oil to microfoam, gently dissolving even the most stubborn waterproof makeup. And the cool thing with all of this is it has like vitamin E in it, um, sunflower seed oil, it all has great skincare benefits. And then this last thing is the Rehab Makeup Prep Hot Springs Hydrating Gel. Ooh, I love gels. I love anything that says water. Hi, little kitty. You want to come say hi? Oh, the second I said it, she ran off, so I guess not. Um, but it just looks like so, like a jelly. A lot of these don't really have a huge scent or anything like that, um, which is really cool. But it is encapsulated water with low alkaline, and it is hypotonic. I don't know what that means, but I do know it says it leaves your skin feeling soft and not oily, so I am on board. All right, next I have this little bad boy from Too Faced, and it says, you are a hangover queen, so thanks, Too Faced. Um, in here, I just got a Hangover RX primer. This is one of my all-time favorite hydrating primers in the entire world. Lately, I haven't been using it as much because I was at the very tail end. It's one of my favorites, so I don't want to like waste it if I really need it in a pinch. But now I have a new one, so thank you. And then I also got this really cute little Hangover nightie. Um, it just says the Hangover Squad on it, and I think it's oh wait, Hangover Queen, not Hangover Squad. It's just me. I'm solo dolo, <laughs> but I think it's really cute, and like I can't, I can't wait. It's so cute. Ooh, I'm wondering if I should just get this one out of the way because it is so big. Oh my gosh, that actually took a lot of effort. I don't want to talk about it. This is from Smashbox. Thank you, Smashbox. You guys always are so crazy and do so much for me. But in here, I love anything that comes with these little videos. So it is the Be Legendary Liquid Metal and Liquid Pigment. And in this little like video, it introduces Vlada... 
MUA. I was going to say Vlada Mua, but it's Vlada MUA. And she's kind of like demonstrating how to do the Smashbox like um, lip art. I was going to say lip paint, but lip art. What do you think of this box? Um, you think that's great? You got your, you got your blues and your, and your, and your pinks. And you're ready. There's the blues. Oh God, she started talking. Hey everyone. She talked. <laughs> My name is Face Lady. I have a face. <laughs> Bye YouTube. So in here, they gave me a ton of these little like glitter doodads and um, some things to apply them for lip art. Now, I'm not the most creative person ever, but I would love to use some of these on the face. Um, I know that not all glitters and stuff like this are safe for eye use, but I really want to do things with this. But they also do include all of these like examples for what to do with the lip art. And I think it's really, really cool. You also get like this little brush to apply it and a little like mix mixing tray but yeah they gave me so many like really fun things to do lip looks with and then inside are a ton of the B legendary liquid metal and pigment lipsticks so you've got a bunch of neutrals on this row and then down here oh, a bunch of like fun colors and metals and stuff confession time this is straight out of the box for me I did pick a couple of colors that I thought were the prettiest just to do some swatches but all of them are really beautiful so this is the liquid pigment and then these are the liquid <laughs> These are the liquid metals. You can see the difference here. The liquid metals are gonna have a lot of sheen in them and like some dimension. The liquid pigments are just flat and probably a matte sort of payoff. Um, this first color is called Pink Drake. Me. The color is so pretty. It's like, it's really hard to explain. It really is so pigmented. It's kind of weird. I'll have to show you upon initial like swatching for this next one. This color is called mauve or mauve. How do you say it? Mauve or mauve? I guess you can't really type it out, but like I always say mauve instead of mauve. It's obviously a mauve color. And let me just show you guys. It is like super pigmented. It's like you're just applying like straight pigment to your hand or to your lips, which is where you would normally be applying it, but they're really pigmented and upon initial impact kind of glossy, but I can see on the more translucent parts where it's sort of drying down. These are the two liquid metals that I thought were the prettiest. This first one is called Crimson Chrome. I really like metal red lips. I think that they're so pretty and they look so good on everyone. This one's like a gorgeous holiday red, but I can also see it being very good for like 4th of July time, which is right around the corner. Maybe even with this, that would be like kind of a cool lip art look. Now I'm thinking of lip art even though I'm not even ever remotely interesting when it comes to like my lips and stuff like that. My eyes are usually my main focus if I'm ever going to do anything creative. But this color is called Ice Out and I love it. See how gorgeous that is? I love the colors. They're really insanely pigmented. They're not super expensive. Um, the retail looks like it's about $20 so check them out for sure if you see a color you think you like. I have some color pop boxes I'm just covering up the shipping for. Inside I have some of their new releases. Now they actually sent me three separate collections from their new spring monochromatic collection. This is phase one and it's called Nectar. There are so many products in this. It's so funny to me because ColourPop just, they're all over the place. Every single month it seems they have a new product. And when I say all over the place, I don't mean like it's not coordinated. I just don't understand how they can release so much so fast. And other brands, it's like, yeah, they have like some capsule collections here and there, but ColourPop just kills it. So this first thing is the Knockout Pressed Powder Blush and Powder Highlight. So I'm just gonna do some swatches. Number one, these pans are freaking huge. At least they look huge. I don't know if they're actually like more product or anything, but um, yeah, these are gorgeous, super pretty, super like peachy, and oh my god, just so beautiful. I feel like that's not really picking up. It looks more brownie. There we go. It's like a really pretty peach and then like a goldy color over here. The other huge star is the Pressed Powder Palette in the shade Blow Me Away. And in here you get a really nice quad of some more peachy tones, like a really pretty champagne, a matte color for transition and two very like nectar peachy sort of colors. So I think that's really cool. There are also two pressed eyeshadows. One is called Savage. Savage <laughs> and what is called cut out so again just like really peachy colors like I think it's cool how they did these sort of monochrome like very very themed looks <gasps> oh no 
Oh, then one of these, this is recently broken. This was not broken when I got it because I looked at it. This is one of their actual Super Shock shadows. It's in the shade Flipper and I'm so sad because it definitely was not broken like a week ago. So I must have done something silly or moved it around or I don't know. I don't know what the heck I did, but I promise you it wasn't broken when I got it because I'm really sad now. Another Super Shock shadow. Oh, this, this one looks really loose as well. So I wonder if they just were a little bit loose in transit or something. It's called One by One. If you've never seen the Super Shock shadows from ColourPop, number one, what are you doing on YouTube um, you can kind of like press them back into their pan just like that just sort of like gently press them down and they kind of go back in but here's the color payoff it's really beautiful they're kind of like they feel like cream but they are a pressed pigment so they feel like wet to the touch but that is the color and it's really beautiful like a golden peach shade I also get a super shock cheek product this is the blush in drop of a hat and whoo buddy I'm really excited about it so this blush is freaking gorgeous. It's just like the most beautiful, hot sort of, it's like a hot coppery color. Do you see that? I love, I die, it's gorgeous. There was one more super shock shadow called Going Rogue, and as you can see, it's separated a bit too, so I wonder if this was just a dry batch or something like that. But anyways, the rest of the things in here are lip products. Two lippy pencils, one is called Faded, and it's kind of like a deeper pink color. I love how ColourPop puts these at the top, it makes them very easy to store. The other is called Oversized, and it's more of a peachy shade. And then I have the actual Oversized Cream Lippy Sticks, and it's great because they actually match those pencils so it's a great great corally nectary kind of color and then the other one is called faded like I said that would have looked so pretty with this makeup now that I'm thinking about it um it's a really beautiful coral but it's got a bit of red to it just a bit deeper I also have this ultra satin lip in the shade exaggerated which is a beautiful pastel peach and this one is called jacquard <laughs> and it's more of like a peachy color I think this was my favorite of the monochrome or monochromatic um phases I got these boxes a while ago like at the very beginning of March so that is when they all came out, so they are more than ready for you guys to grab them. Now, these other two phases were sent to the same box. I'm just going to kind of go through everything all at once. Everything's falling over. I have two pressed powder palettes. The first is called the Double Play Palette, and this one is beautiful. It has kind of like more of a sandy color and a like very bronzy sort of shade. Great for every day. I like both of these a lot. I really love that highlight. It's kind of like a golden champagne. I'm really into it. There's the highlight, there's the bronzer. They're kind of kind of overlapping. I'm a little bit out of shape with this. The other one is called Done Deal, and this one I'm assuming is more pink. I don't think I even said what these are. Phase two is the pink collection, which is this next thing I'm gonna show you. Phase three is the sand collection, which I just showed you the pressed blush powder for that. This one has like a very dolly kind of Barbie pink and a like more sandy colored highlight. Very, very pretty. Fun fact, I already lost my wipe, so. Guess I'm going in for another one. For each of these collections, we also do have these little eyeshadow quads. The first one is called Belle of the Ball. And obviously this one is gonna be more pink in tone. Some really, really beautiful shades there. I'm really into this, especially for summertime. I think that's gonna be gorgeous. I have to say though, I'm probably the most excited for the Heavy Hitter Sand Palette. I love neutrals, I can't help it. I just think like, look at this. Look at how happy my little warm, loving, bronzy, brown self is. You've got this beautiful shimmery champagne that I have such a crush on. I love those colors. You've got kind of like a creamy white for a highlight. I love this palette the most, I think out of all of them. This one is also really great. So then we have some pressed powder shadows as well, which I've got to start getting away because I already have a full palette, like a full huge palette of these. And I'm just like, girl, Girl, I can't keep up. This shade is called Ego. It's like a bronzy, shimmery brown. The next one is a matte brown called Conund Conundrum. Yeah, English. Gray is a transition or a crease color. This one is called Labyrinth, and it's a matte sort of pinky shade. I think that would look gorgeous with a lot of these pinker colors. It really has like a bronzy tone to it. It's like a mauve shade. I can't even describe it. This next one is called Poodle, <laughs> and it looks like a poodle's collar or something really hot pink. This one is called Pebbles, and it's like a little bit more purpley, a little bit deeper and berry toned. The last one is called Boxer, and it's a really, really deep shade. I think that would look really nice out in the outer corner or as a liner or something. Only two Super Shock shadows in this one. I think that all of the others were really in that Nectar collection. This one is called Reversible. 
It's like a gorgeous, gorgeous shimmery shade. I love swatching the Super Shock shadows. Um, you can see these ones for some reason, like they're totally fine, not dried out at all. So I don't, I don't know what the heck happened. But I love that color. It would be great as an everyday, like all over the lid sort of shade. And then the other one would pair really well with it, actually. It's called Super Hardcore. And it is not super hardcore at all. It's a beautiful, like, golden tone. So IDK. Only one blush, and it is from the pink collection. It's called Forget Me Not. It's a really beautiful, like, pinky tone. You know, I have a hard time with these ColourPop blushes because I think they're really pretty, but you apply them with your fingers, and they're, the, they're like a powder, and I never know how to put them on as a powder. And You know what I mean? Like, because you can't apply them as a cream because they're not a cream, but you apply them like a cream. I don't know. It's really shimmery. I would probably use that as more of a highlight because it's, like, very, very faint. I don't even know. Can you see that? Can you see it? Probably not. And the last thing in these collections are the lippies. This first one is called Birdie, and I have the color Pop Lippy Sticks and the actual lippy, wait, this is the lippy pencil, this is the lippy sticks. So the lippy sticks is really, this is a really beautiful kind of everyday sort of neutral pink shade, not too dark, not too bright, but a little bit more than like a neutral, you know what I mean? Just a bit more of a pop. And then everything else ooh, are liquid lipsticks. ColourPop does these so well, so I'm not mad. Let's see here. I have a ton, but this shade is called Strip. It's like a very basic sort of nudie brown. I probably went a little bit cross-eyed. I try so hard not to do that. This is called Fresh Cut. Reminds me a lot of Coco K from Kylie Cosmetics, like a very pastel-y pink. This one is called Struct. Struct. Strut. I read Struct. Struct. This one is Strut. It's a little bit cooler in tone, but a very light sort of sandy color. This one is called Naughty, and it's a little bit more warm toned. Again, a sand sort of shade. This one is called Chandelier. Chandelier. Yeah, I thought it was Chandler for a minute. And that one's a bit more of like a peachy pink if you compare it to like that other pink that I showed earlier. It's a bit more peachy and a little bit lighter in its tone. My last two are this really, really light pink called Love Muffin and then this really dark sort of brownie color. Um, and this is called Embellish. So that was a lot, but ColourPop they always put out good stuff, and I'm always really excited to see. This was one of my favorite collections that they put out in a while, very organized and um, really interesting to see what they came up for each, like, you know, color. So, yay! I'm really excited to try them. Next up, I have some things from Benefit San Francisco. I do love Benefit Cosmetics. In this, um, they also sent a phone. Do you know where that phone went? The lip phone? I don't either. I'm not sure what I did with it. I did take it out just because it was so cute and I was showing everyone I knew. Um, these are actually just the color swatches for these products because they sent me all of the Their Real Double the Lip fuller looking lips in one easy step. So it has a liner on one portion and a lipstick on the other. Now, I have not actually tried these and I have so many. I like the packaging of them a lot. It looks exactly like the Benefit Their Real Mascara, which they also did send me another one of. I love the Their Real Mascara so much. But these are so cool because as you can see, how do I, oh, there we go, okay. They have the lighter colored lipstick and then the darker colored liner to give you like that fuller looking mouth. But I just like, I think it looks really cool. I can't really tell a difference like in swatching like oh that part's darker and that part's lighter though I feel no they don't really look it doesn't look any different throughout the whole swatch so maybe like the concept of it doesn't really work like that darker color and then the lighter but it is a very pretty color this one is called nude scandal and it's gorgeous like a very soft peachy sort of nude color all right I just took them all out of their packaging and here is what we are left with this one is called juicy berry and as you can see it's a darker berry on the top and just more of a light berry on bottom I just really like these so far I mean I think it kind of sucks that like the kind of gimmick behind it doesn't really work but like my goodness, they're so cool. I have Lusty Rose. Ooh, I love anything with rose in the name right now. And this shade is oh, so beautiful. See, this one I feel like you can kind of tell, like that darker liner effect really does sort of work, but it's a really beautiful brick color. I'm like borderline obsessed with that. I think it's so cool. Then we have Pink Thrills. They have a ton of these, like a light pink with a darker sort of um, hot pink in the middle. I feel like I have to swatch all of them to give you the effect because I feel like you guys can't really see that color um, just because of the ring light. I have the shade Revved Up Red and as you can see just a really nice red color. It's like a really pretty cherry. Oh that's gonna be so pretty for summer. I love those like strawberry or cherry colored reds. Just so cool to me. I have three more. 
Um, this one is called Fuchsia Fever, and it is a few. Wait, did I not already have Fuchsia Fever? No, I had a, a pink shade. <laughs> this one is, oh, it is really pretty fuchsia, though. I never wear colors like that, but I always, like, look at them, and I'm like, mm, yeah, I like you, but I never do it for some reason. I'm not a very, like, bold lip kind of girl. I don't know why. I just, I always get kind of timid with them, but I really wish I didn't because whenever I do wear them, I always really like the effect. This is an orange shade called Flame Game. Oh, mama that is orange that is a dark dark orange but i will try it hopefully maybe this shade is criminally coral and that's the last one and this is obviously going to be more of like a soft sort of corally see this one you can really see that liner effect on i think it's the only one that i've been able to tell can you guys see that like the darker line through here and then the lighter color I don't know why it's just like the most obvious so I don't know why that is the other ones just sort of seem to blend out I don't think that they really do their effect of like lining the lips and also adding a different color you know into them I think it kind of just blends together but I do think that they're really cool and very pigmented and they feel quite soft so I'm still very excited to try them plus this box is so cute <laughs> I have a few more packages, but all of them are doozies, so this is still going to be a while before we're done. This is the Urban Decay Jean McCall um, Bas Basquia. I don't know how to say his name. I know he's an artist, and I know he's absolutely incredible. Like, look at this box. It is literally a work of art. I'm so obsessed with it. And then on the inside, I literally want to, um, I think I'm going to, like, break this down and hang this on my wall because I love this piece so much. I think it's so cool. And then um, Jean McCall Basquia or Bascot, I don't know how to say his name, but they did a collab with Urban Decay, um, and I think that it is freaking dope, and the stuff in here is freaking dope. We get two different, like, eyeshadow palettes. The first one is super duper bright and colorful, and you get all of these really beautiful bright shades in there, and you also do get a little brush to go with it. I love the little Urban Decay brushes. This one's like a nice flat side for, like, liner and stuff, and then this one is a good little shader, and then the other one is a neutral palette, which I feel like everyone was looking at. I think it looks so beautiful inside like look at that I cry you've got everything you would need I actually think this is a really great little travel palette because not only does it have everything for the kind of everyday eye you also have two darker colors for the smoky eyes um, but not a black because I feel like black for me I turn towards so rarely that I'm always like why did you use that up in this palette you know these are both great eyeshadow palettes and I'm really into both of them I love the packaging on both of them I think they're beautiful just works of art and I'm so excited I also have this little blush palette and in here we get four different blushes x-rated now's the time which is the highlight jawbone is more of a very properly named it's a contour color then this is no home like north hollywood um they're all really smooth to the touch and really beautiful it's a great little quad and i'm really into it um they're a little powdery um and the two blushes are just not quite showing up the way I would normally like, but also blush is one of those things where you have to get it on a brush, I feel, before you can judge it. So those are the swatches. I'm really super into it, and I think it's a great little tiny, again, like a nice little travel palette. Three lipsticks. I have one called Epigram. This is a beautiful corally color, like more of a terracotta sort of shade. I just, I can't with lippies. I always want to swatch everything. It's gorgeous. Oh my god, I love those like 90s brown colors. They're so pretty. This one is a really bright fuchsia color called Exhibition. You know what? I think I have this color. I don't know if this is a re-release or not. Either that or I thought I did. It's like a really bright pink color. Super pretty. This last one I'm really excited about. It's called Abstract. And I, I love the packaging on these. They're so pretty. They're so gorgeous. This one is a nudie sort of brown color. More light in tone than the other two they're beautiful and then there are three liners that kind of complete off this collection this one is a lime green called post punk now this doesn't really have anything that i can particularly swatch but i love this box from smashbox super duper sweet of them they sent me a ton of primers and I'm just so freaking grateful. Um, I'm going to give a lot of these away just because I feel like my skin type is very finicky. Doesn't really like to try out a bunch of different primers. So in here you get the Photo Finish Foundation Primer, just the old one. Uh, not the old one, but like the standard oil-free one. Then this is the light version, if that one's just a bit too heavy. This one is for pore minimizing. This one is the Primer Oil, which is very good for like very dry skin. This is the Primer Water, which is nice. Um, I find is kind of like a primer primer. 
primer just to like give your skin a bit of moisture and make it a little bit tacky. This is the Photo Finish Hydrating Primer, which I will be keeping. This one is Color Correcting Adjusting Primer, um, which I think really helps with redness. It is obviously a green toned primer. This one is the Color Correcting Blend. Um, that tames discoloration and then the last one protects your skin and it has SPF 20 in it so I obviously do not need all of these but I am I am feeling the love right now so thank you Smashbox for this beautiful red glittery box that is just getting stuff everywhere but I'm super grateful for it now we have the last thing and this I have been like literally letting sit here for so long um, letting sit here is that is that right it is filled with a bunch of new pixie collaborations and I don't even know how the best way to do this is I just wanted to keep the box because um I actually don't know why in hindsight because it's, it's massive do you see this do you see how big this is this is not sustainable. Now, four different people collaborated with Pixie, and that is what this PR box was for. The first one I wanna start off with is my friend Aspen, who I love so dearly, and I really, really, really want you guys to show this some love if you can and if you want to, because I think that her products are so cool, and I'm a little bit biased, but I think her collaboration was my favorite. She has this glowy powder highlighter. Now you guys know I do really like my highlights, so I hold them up to a very high standard. Now this color is called Santorini Sunset, and I think that Aspen named all of her products after like her favorite travels and things like that, because this one is called London Luster. It's more of like a light tone, sort of golden-y color. And then her blush in this is called Rome Rose. It's really, really beautiful. But Santorini Sunset, I think is my favorite thing in here, because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous golden highlight. Like look at that color. It is so beautiful. It's so up my alley. I cannot wait to wear these. I am just so excited. And then she actually made this little um, eye accents kit. And in here you get this lower lash mascara and a brow taming gel, which is great. Like they're just little tiny sizes. So they're good for travel and stuff like that. And yeah, I love both of those products. I'm excited to have tinies of them. The next collaboration is It's Jute. It's Judy time. Literally though, it's Judy time. And she has out two palettes. This one is an eyeshadow palette and I think that it's really, really cool. Um, she is really like a neutral wearer. You know, I was very excited for this because in here you get some really beautiful, just sort of everyday colors. The shadows have quite a bit of like, um, I like my shadows are quite hard and they're not super fine and powdery because I just feel like that means they're gonna have more pigmentation. And look at them they really do absolutely stunning and then she also has out a lip palette and in here you just get a vast vast variety of lip colors I'm not normally like a lip palette kind of gal so I think that's gonna go in the pass on pile just because it's not usually a format I like for my lipsticks but congratulations to Judy and Aspen on their collaborations Next up, we have this bad boy, and this was with Caroline Herens. It is the Double Cleanser. It is two cleansers in one for foolproof removal of makeup, SPF, or just a plain old dirty face at the end of the day. This has a lot of weight to it. There's a ton in here. I guess in one part of it, um, oh wow, that's so cool. In one part of it, you get a cleansing cream, and then in the other part, you get an actual cleansing balm. That is so cool. That was so weird. I was looking at Caroline's like, huh, she only put out one product, but because hers like hits every base. Then last but not least, we have the Miriam Maquillage. I hope that's actually how you say that because I feel like it's not. In her, she has the Strobe and Sculpt Contour Palette. You get some highlights, some blushes, a little bit of contour action. And then we have the Strobe and Bronze Palette, which has a lot more like shimmery shades and some more bronzy colors. Also, I lost a nail <laughs> in the filming of this. It's been it's been a day for my nails. And then the last thing is this strobe and sculpt brush. So obviously there's a lot here. Um, and I think that it's really cool that all of these ladies have these collaborations out. I always love supporting YouTubers whenever they have huge collabs like this. So I'm really proud of these ladies. Definitely go and check them out. A lot of Pixie locations in Target will actually have like out little um, areas where you can test things and like swatch them and stuff like that. So yeah, as you can see, this is clean now and I have a very dirty floor that I'm going to have to clean up. But nonetheless, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And let me know if there are any products you want to see a lot more in depth, like a lot more swatching and like maybe an actual review or a tutorial or something. I would love to put something out for you guys. And I think that's all. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.